I think Gary Sanchez, with the amount of talent he has, he could be the star of the franchise, but I think a guy like Aaron Judge is going to be the foundation of the franchise. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, without Derek Jeter, you had a bunch of different stars, but he was the one that always always guided the ship. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, at the I end of the you. day, he may not have been the most vocal or the guy everyone was talking about. But he about. was the compass. He was always the compass. Like, he was always – like, you always have to have that guy you know is going to be the same guy every single day, especially in ba- – I could only imagine baseball. How hard is games. Honestly, you guys, you guys pro – how hard is it? Because it sounds simple. Oh, just be the same guy every day. Just, you know – you know, you have a bad day, but you're happy for your team. You're happy for your teammates. You stay up. I mean, how difficult is that to do on a daily basis? Well, it's hard because there's so many different factors, and at some point, human nature kicks in because you're not always going to feel great every single day. So it's the guy that can continue to push himself, do all the little things that they need to do in order to prepare the way that they should to give themselves a chance to be successful. That's hard to do. You know, different situations come up. Injuries come up. Contract situations come up. All these different factors. The guy that can be consistent – in terms of his approach and his work ethic toward his teammates, all of those different things, the mental aspects of the game, those are the guys that ultimately end up being the foundation for successful teams. And so that's what when you start talking about core players, it's yep. important to be able to identify players that have those type of attributes because those are the guys that are going to be able to be consistent, which other people are going to then gravitate toward. So they're going to be consistent in their approach too. Those are the guys that set the standard in terms of how you work and how you play. Would you, would you say also that that's a guy that's pretty confident? Oh, you know, yeah. you no have to have some level of self-confidence to be consistent every day because if, if you go 0 for 4 and you're worried that they're going to send me down and you're worried about what's going to – like it, it always seemed like Jeter was never worried about what was going to happen. Self-confidence but not self-importance. And right. I think that's the key. And when you have guys in the locker room that identify those type of players, he's self-confident but he's not self-important where it's not all about him. Mm-hmm. Like some players in New York that we all know that we don't have to name, those are the guys that the teammates respect. Those are the guys that ultimately ends up be, end up being the leaders. I always say this. The coaches, the managers, they don't pick the leaders. The locker room picks the leaders. So ultimately, right. those are the guys that the locker room players, those are the guys that they pick. You know what it is, too? And there's a lot of guys. And when we go point. back to this, this conversation we have, CC, sometimes about you know, how many guys, how many professional ac- athletes actually love their sport, right? And I think when you go through your entire career, you start in high school, and then you go up to college and you get to the next level professional, is that there are a lot of guys – that their personalities are probably better suited for individual sports, but they're just really good at a team sport. And then there's those guys you come across that they were made to play team yeah. sports. Like if they took a personality test, like we all have to take personality tests, and, and they go through like what occupation you would be, probably when you got your results, a guy like Aaron Judge would be like, you'd be a great teacher or a social worker yeah. or someone like that that actually was yeah. more concerned with making people around him or enjoyed people's success more than his own success. 